Now that we completed the CT section, you have to put it in a data layer so that you can afford to generate big CT without having any performance issue in the editor. At this stage, what you have to do is to select you select the cell that used to generate this section of the city. So we go here and we select it. It can be a bit tricky to select so that what we have to do is to hide some mesh and select it. Once you do that, go to Don't tag tab, expand it and copy the cell name tag. Right click on it and choose copy. Now you have to go to your, the content browser. In the content, create a new folder where you store your data layer asset. Create a new folder, label it PCC tutorial data layer. You are free to give any name that you want. Right click on it and go to Miss Lighthouse and search for data layer. Click on it and pass the name you copied here, the cell name tag. Once you do that, save, right click and save it. Now go to data layer. If you don't have it open, go to window word partition and click on data layer outliner in the data layer outliner right click and select create new data layer use the data layer you just created here put it in the data layer asset now to add all the all the generated assets in this data layer, you have to go to Content Browser, Procedure City Creator Folder, then PCC Widget, run the PCC Main Widget, and move the slider until you see this, this widget showing. To put this data on the to put the generated assets in the new data layer we created, just click on this button, click to organize into data layer, and voila, it will put everything that you generated with this this cell into the data layer. That is all you have to do. Now in this stage, you have to save the level and unload the data layer. Now you have to unload the, the data layer. To do that, click on this icon and it will unload the data layer. You can hit it, but it will be, it will be loaded, but it won't run down. I don't really, I don't really advise to do that. It is better to unload that to free your memory. Notice that it 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 haven't taken the root into account, the static mesh root into account. It is because we need uh, we need them to be to be there when we spawn highway mesh, so that we can use the PCC root measure to to merge with them. So. At this stage, you know how to you know how to generate a city section. Repeat the whole process for other cells to generate all the city. 
all the sections of the city. Select any cell, preview it, bake its contents, pick the road props and bake the intersection mesh. Then select the plot, preview them, randomize and edit your plot as you wish. Then bake the building and put them in the data layer. Repeat that process and you will have your city done. In the next tutorial, we will see how to to bake highways, to spawn highways and the road and the zone roads.